Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrek and welcome back to another adventure in the Game Mechanics Quest where we code some famous game mechanics using Unity and C Sharp from super hard time manipulation to upgradable shooter system all the way up to fighting combo system as in Mortal Kombat and today we're gonna code the time rewind mechanic from my favorite game Braid so let's get started First of all, we need to set up the scene for our experiment and if you don't want to watch that, skip to, to this time to us watch how we call the game mechanics and its testing. For setting the scene, I always like to scavenge the internet to see if I can find the 2D sprites for the game mechanics I want to code and luckily I found them. And after a quick setup, my scene animations and art is set and it's time to code the enemy movement in the game. I have avoided coding the player movement to make this test a bit more simplified. For the enemy movement, it's a really simple code. And it's an upgraded version of my old Goomba moving script that I used in the Goomba game mechanics. Now it's just moving to the right or the left for forever. If it hits an edge, it just collide and reverse its moving speed. And if it hits the ground or left it from the ground, the falling animation or the moving animation will be triggered. So it's as simple as that. And after a simple testing, everything works fine. And now it's time to go to the time rewind mechanic. So in Braid, the time rewind mechanic is pretty special. Some objects can be rewinded and other objects can't. So to fix this issue, I figured out I would create a rewind controller that you can stick it in any game object that you want to be able to rewind by just pressing a button. So this is what I do and I created a rewind control and to go back in time we need to create some class to present that point in time so I created the time point class in that class you can see two simple regions first of all the variables of that class second of all the constructor of that class in the variable region here we can add all the variables that needed to be recorded at any point in time and this can be different from a game to game in our case game braid we need just to record the position and the velocity of any game object. And for the constructor, we just take the position and the velocity and everything works fine. And we can just adjust the constructor to mimic any different game objects that we want. After setting up the time point, it was time to set up the rewind controller. In the white controller, it's pretty simple. The most important part here is the list of time points that will contain all the time points that we need. Next, the time points count. So how many time points do we want to have? 500, 1000 and so on. And you can do a small play to just record seconds. So I need to record 3 seconds in advance or 5 seconds. But in my case, I stick up with frames. The second part is the update and fix update functions. In the update function, all you have to do is just check up that the button that is responsible for rewinding and not rewinding is pressed. And in our case, it's a space button. In the fixed update, all you have to check here if is rewinding is true, rewind the time point, and if not, just record the time points that we need. The next important functions are the record time points and the rewind time points, and our controller can't work without those two functions. Let's start with the first one. The record time points, all it do is just record the time point and add it to the list. It's as simple as that, and if the time points count is bigger than the time point counts that we set, we just remove the first point added to that list. In the rewind time point function, we check if we have points left in the list. If we have, just set that time point to that game object and remove it from the list. And if we run out of points, just stop rewind. And as we can see here, it's working perfectly. The players or the enemies, you can say, just are dropping down or just moving and pressing the space. It's just rewinding time and everything is working perfectly. And in the game, I know we have some uh, enemies that don't rewind with time, that have some clubbing sparkles on it. And to just achieve this, you just don't put the rewind controller on its game object because if you want to activate this object to move with time and to rewind when I press space, all you have to do is just grab the rewind controller and put it on the game object in the inspector. And now this game object is rewindable. It was a really simple mechanic to achieve and I am really amazed by this simple and small code that is able to add this functionality or this mechanic to any game you want. 
just a small notes here and there for this code in the rewind controllers in the final functions in the rewind time and stop rewind functions you need to introduce some time of event manager system to keep track when the game is rewind rewinding or not just uh, send an event to all the characters all the game objects in the scene okay we are rewinding now and send another event that okay we stopped rewinding so we can uh, enable the player to move or enable control or enable anything else we want in the game left it uh, like this in my code can get component enemy movement dot stop moving and dot move just to simplify the test for now but event system is highly recommended to be added at this point but the results are always the same and the test work perfectly don't forget the code is always available on my github page and links in the description and we have made it to the end of this small adventure to building this interact and really amazing mechanic from the game braid and if you made it this far with me please consider subscribing and joining our kingdom over on discord if you want just to make friends have a chat and just share your game development adventure please now don't forget to like share and again subscribe and see you all in the next adventure we're gonna slay a dragon maybe i don't know but it's gonna be fun i promise you that